Hey, hey, my friends, what do you say? What's a good word? Today, day 18, Law of Attraction Challenge. And we're going to talk about the art of allowing. And the Law of Attraction is working 24-7 in our lives, my friends. If you've been attracting by default all your life, you know, you're not going to create the life you want. It's going to take a little while and quite a bit of effort to change the momentum that you've built up in your life. Before you start seeing the results you really want you know it's like stopping a, a speeding train a locomotive and and then having to get the momentum going in the opposite direction you know however once you get this momentum going you know it, it picks up speed fast and, and pretty much all on its own so if you're consciously putting out thoughts uh, to attract more of the things you want in life and, and this includes money wealth uh, the universe is responding by sending it to you. It has to. Um, it's the law. I'm talking about the law of attraction here. It's a law. It's not a theory. It's not an idea. It's not a concept. It, it's a law. The unfortunate part of where the system stops working is if you're putting out contradicting or, or counter intentions that don't allow whatever you're asking for to come into your reality. And... The universe kind of gets confused as to what it is you want. And a lot of that is patience. You see somebody else getting something you want sooner or quicker, and you start to put out uh, vibrations about not having it. And uh, the universe gets, gets confused. So if you look at it like this, once you've asked for something, it's, it's waiting in a vibrational escrow for the time you're open to receiving it, where you're going to allow it to come to you. And when you're open to receive, you'll literally call it into your physical reality. And uh, we are practitioners here on my team of uh, Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich. And where he says, when riches begin to come, they come so quickly in such great abundance that one wonders where they have been hiding during all those lean years. I've seen it time and time again. That's so true. It's because you've been calling and calling and calling and it's been accumulating. And then when you're finally ready to allow it to come to you and actually receive it, it just comes pouring in and it seems like pure magic. And, and it kind of is. Uh, in a way and that's a really cool thing and one of my favorite quotes from Osho that will really help put this all into perspective just allow things to come in their own time and as soon as you start allowing it it comes a lot quicker and you have to have some some faith and some trust uh, in the universe and in yourself but uh, this quote is from Osho don't seek don't search don't ask, don't knock, don't demand. Relax. If you relax, it comes. If you relax, it is there. If you relax, you start vibrating with it. And I know the popular school of thought on this topic is going with the flow. But I'm telling you, my friends, you're not separate from the flow. You are the flow. Once you realize that and allow yourself to be in harmony with the flow, become the flow, you'll start flowing with the go, bringing all those good things into your life. So there we go, day 18, Law of Attraction Challenge, my friends. It's a big topic. We could spend hours on it, and, and I have, and uh, I still do. We have mastermind groups, um, and if you're interested in joining those, you can click on the link below, get a hold of me, message me, and I would love to hear from you, and I'd love to hear your ideas and thoughts on this very subject, which is the art of allowing. All right, my friends, till day 19. Enjoy your day. We'll see you soon.